Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another deep dive video on the Honda Civic Type R. This is an updated setup for the car, uh, showing some of the new things that we've learned to basically run your fastest ETs. So this car for me is running 9.87s. Um, I'm sure I could do a little bit better with more time tuning, and I would love to see what you guys can do. But so far, seems like the best setup from just tinkering around is 647 HP with 444 torque and 2163 pounds we go through the setup you want to look at engine internals first you want to do the ckr crankshaft the brocker tech heads the flow pro valves the golden hawk block the second one um the performance plus rods and the power dyne pistons the second one so basically engine internals is the fourth item of every single subcategory the intake system you want to do Works throttle body, Speedworks intake, and the Brocker Tech intake manifold. Fuel system, I've kind of messed with it on a different car. It doesn't matter which injectors you go with, but I went with the ones that removed the most weight, so I did the 550cc injector package. On the turbo, you want to do the SC Tech turbo and the Vibe Tech intercooler. Cooling, leave it all stock. Exhaust, you want to do Prime Mods catback the top performance exhaust manifold, and the Flowtech catalytic converter. On to electronics. Oh boy, electronics. My past career path. Um, <laughs> Fuel Pro ECU and the MSD performance ignition pack. Nitrous, you always want your 100 shot. Suspension, you always want the shocker. Pro, uh, well, you don't always want the shock pro for suspension. Oh my God, I can't talk today. You want the shock pro suspension. The drivetrain, you want to go clutch, clutch Pro Race Clutch, Jesus, Clutch Pro Flywheel, and the Axle Pro Drive Shaft, the Meekin Spool Differential, and this is where some of the changes and updates from the communities just testing come into play. You want the ProLine transmission because it removes the most weight. From here, you want to do the little tire trick to get the most grip possible, install your Hoosiers first, go make the tires gigantic in stance. Come back, put the radial slicks on, then go make the tires super tiny because it's a front-wheel drive car. That gives you the most grip. This will be fixed in the future. We just don't have penalties for doing these comedically small tires yet and wheels. So all of that's going to be fixed in the future. The body, you want fully gutted. So that's going to give you your best horsepower and torque and weight. Now, I was saying that there's been an update with people and tuning their cars. We have figured out that Yes, you can add the transmission that gives you the ability to edit the gear ratios entirely. But in all reality, if you just want to save a ton of weight, you put the final drive, uh, the differential on just to edit final drive and you're good to go. So I'm going to actually, I want this a little higher from testing. We're going to go with 369 because 69 is the funny number. And we're going to go back and I'm going to show you guys how to race it. So here we go. Let's check out how fast this thing is. Like I said, I've been doing about 9.87s. I think people in the community could do better. I'm definitely not as good of a racer as most other people in this community, but let's see what we can do. So we're at the tree. I usually shift like right after 8,000 and I like to use nitrous in third or fourth. I haven't quite figured out which one's faster. It seems like they're kind of the same. I do want to mess with it a little bit more. 9.866. That's my best time so far in this car. So let's do another run. And I think I'm going to be able to get like a 9. I think 9.66 is probably my cutoff with this setup. I'm sure there's other people that can do better with just some more tweaking and things of that nature. But at least for me, on my computer setup, this is probably the best I'm going to be able to run. So again, do it without following this time. And I'm going to try nitrous in third instead of fourth. So we're going to run through, cross the finish line. Do I go faster or slower using it in third? 9.58, so I am faster if I use it in third. I really wonder if with enough tweaking you could get this down to a 9.799. You would have to like mess with 
weight and stuff like that, try to get the weight down without losing a lot of power. Which I think in this car is going to be very difficult. Like, yeah, you can lose 3 HP in 1 pound, but I don't think that's going to be helpful. So, I don't know where you would save 9 HP but 10 pounds. That's almost worth it. 5 HP and 4 pounds, I doubt that's worth it. Yeah, I don't know where you're going to save power and weight. Let me try. I want to keep the 69 funny number, but I'm going to go up just 0.02. Let's see if I go any bit faster. I don't think I will. But I think this is at least good enough to test. So we're staging up. And we're going to go. There we go. Just after 8K. Third gear was fastest nitrous use gear. So we're going to do that again. And where does that get me? 9.875 because I used the nitrous a little bit late. I'm going to do one more race and then we're going to call it a video. And I'm really glad I can get these videos to be kind of so quick because that makes it very digestible for everybody. If I can keep these videos between six to eight minutes long, I think that's perfect for everybody. So we're going to do one more run. I'm going to try to use nitrous at the perfect time and we'll go from there. So, three, two, one, go. Two, three. We're in third. Use nitrous as soon as possible. We're in fifth. I think I am going to drop the final drive back to 3.69. Mm, yeah, I'm going to drop the final drive back to 3.69. I'll probably still mess, mess with it a little bit more, but I think the 3.69 is probably best. There we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll try to make more setup tutorial videos as we go through development. And keep in mind, like I said, this, like I've always said, this is an alpha stage game. So anything and everything can change at any moment. So, you know, stay tuned. I'll uh, keep making videos on the game and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.